If I was Shakur, I wouldn't get gassed. Yep. It looks like he's filling out physically. And he's really utilizing that southpaw stance right now. At least in this fight here. As good as Shakur looked, he's got to realize his opponent had already took two former world champions the distance. Scott Quigg, as early as 2017, took Scott Quigg the full 12 rounds in the United Kingdom. He took Lee Selby the full 12 rounds rounds in the United Kingdom in 2013 he had never been stopped before and had only lost twice them two fights were the only fights he lost Shakur was 8 and 0 oh. so this guy was far from finished he was looking to get back in the world rankings that's what he was going to do his last loss last fight was to Scott Quick 12 rounder one of the scorecards on the quick fight was 115 113 and that's in England and I probably saw this fight but I can't remember it so he done pretty well former world champion we saw Quig on the DAZN app scoring a great Dofford win so now understandably Shakur as a pro is going to be thinking oh Quig Frampton world champions they did that and I did this that means I'm here and it's not a far off assessment, but he has to realize his opponent was balling on him. And he came in the ring with Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. That's how ambitious he was. Yeah? His opponent was balling pre fight. How's he going to deal with this? Look how skinny he is. He hasn't got his man strength. And his opponent tried to take liberties with him, just tried to walk through his shit. And the right hand counter hook that Shakur threw over this guy's left was done with the preciseness and hand speed of a Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah. It was fucking excellent. And the setup, he set the guy up by throwing his own jab, knowing the guy's going to shoot. Shakur threw his jab, the guy threw his left hook, and you got you got to work so hard to be a pro boxer. You got to work so hard. To get, to get them moves right, you got to work so fucking hard. And as the guy threw his, the hand speed... Woo! Bam! The guy didn't know what the fuck hit him, bro. Speed and power. Timing. All together. Put it all together. I was like, whoa. I missed this last week on the Crawford Benavides card. Another one to put him over. These punches didn't land flush. But the damage was done and the damage was being done. Shakur turned tiger like Sugar Ray Leonard, man. The guy hurt. Went to clinch and spoil his side and maul and use that man strength he was talking about to take some of the sting out of Shakur's attack. Shakur didn't allow that. No, you ain't holding, bro. Shakur went to the body, bro. With fierceness, velocity, throwing some, some volume. And then he came up to the head. Stevenson just kept drilling to the body. Some went low. Some straight right, straight lefts. With little back lift. Didn't have to set everything up with a jab. And then the finishing punch with the same punch. As the first punch. Same punch. That's that, that's the way you know it's trained. Same thing. Same combination. Literally. Caught his opponent with the right hook. As his opponent was throwing his left hook. Only this time it wasn't a, a decoy jab. It was a decoy left hook that set him up. <laughs> Out. You didn't see it. I don't see the punches coming. The man. He tried to shake the cobwebs out. But you know. He rested into the ropes. And the referee said, look, dude, you, you need to go sit down. Bro. You need to go sit down for the rest of this one. It's done. It was done. Highly impressive. Highly impressive. And from what I've seen, that's his best performance as a pro. The Andre Ward influence is working beautifully. Where it's got to be total boxing. You're not just good at one thing. You're proficient at everything. And if this kid can continue... There's obviously some great matches for him. Conlon and um, the other kid who top rank signed from Eastern Europe. He called out Frampton, didn't he? Did he call out from the Warrington? Shakur. Could be a bit early for that. Not that he couldn't beat them guys, but what do you do once you get the belt? But, yo, know, maybe they could go for it. Maybe they could. It's not unrealistic. I was a bit worried about Shakur when um, he got into that incident the other day. 
hopefully that's gone away you do whatever you got to do to be successful whatever you got to do and that that performance there was full, phew, really good really good really good really good first round knockout over Viriel Simeon I don't think you could believe that such an inexperienced kid could do that to him I, I don't think he understood I don't think he understood because he was just steaming after Shakur. He didn't try and jab his way in from the bell. Just, just started steaming after him. He wanted to take that confidence away straight away. Let him know his boss intimidate him. And take him in the trench. Shakur came out ready. Came out ready. Tim Bradley was saying that the guy was outworking him. And Shakur wasn't throwing enough punches. I was saying, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you mean Shakur's using his footwork? was landing crisp left hands before that right hand landed. And while Tim was saying all that, <laughs> that's when Shakur delivered. Mid-sentence, almost. But Shakur had a look of concentration on his face, and he looked composed. And I was thinking, it's early days. Let's see how he copes with the strength. Didn't get the chance to find out. Didn't get the chance to find out. But there will be opponents who won't underestimate Shakur. They'll know how good he is. And they're the ones you've got to watch out for. So, if he keeps his feet on the ground, he's a good a prospect as there is a prospect out there. That's all I can say for now. I don't want to overdo it, oversaturate Shakur with praises, but it's in the description box, man. Have a look yourself. Have a look yourself if you haven't seen it. Have a look yourself. Spectacular. 